Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Richard Turner Gold Standard deck of Bicycle 808s. Now, if you don't know who Richard Turner is, uh, Richard Turner is just a phenomenon in the world of magic. Uh, for about the last 40 years, he's dazzled audiences all around the world. Uh, he's been in movies, he's been in TV specials, he performed at the Magic Castle, and he does everything. He does all of his magic with a single deck of cards. Uh, but if you look closely, uh, and if you watch uh, any of his video footage for any amount of time, you're gonna notice that Richard Turner is blind. He's completely blind and he is a just card master, card smith, card mechanic. Uh, on top of that, he's also a six degree black belt. Uh, and he's actually been the advisor at the United States Playing Card Company uh, for quite a while. And just because of his unique touch and his unique ability to be able to discern uh, different types of cut, different types of finish. And uh, what that has done is it has earned him a lifetime supply of cards at his house. He has about 6,000 decks of cards. And I know it's a hope uh, right now that there might soon be a documentary filmed about his life called Delt. Um, this deck of cards is the gold standard deck, which means each of the cards that Richard Turner prefers, uh, this is the deck cut and stock that he prefers. And let me just say, you know, you get lots and lots of questions uh, from lots of people that ask, you know, what's the best deck of cards? What's the best deck of cards for flourishing? What's the best deck of cards for magic? I'm always gonna come back to say, just you wanna get a standard deck of red 808s. Um, but, but, uh, I would say, let's get these. These would be the ones that you'd wanna get. Uh, just a couple of reasons why. First of which is you're gonna get the standard tuck case. This is the standard old school tuck case. Now these are harder to find nowadays. You're gonna see a lot of the new tuck cases out there. And the reason why the new tuck cases don't always work is because sometimes you get gaff cards and the gaff cards that you still have in your collection are for the old tuck case. And so the having a nice, crisp, clean old tuck case um, reprinted, right, will work with a lot of your gaffs. Um, uh, also notice you have a full size back design on the back. Again, uh, you're some of you gaffs that enable you to slide a card or hide a card on the back of the tuck case. And it's easier to do when the back of the tuck case looks like the back of the card. So that's really not the case right now with some of the decks coming out through United States Playing Card Company. Um, you're all familiar with the standard 808 Rider back uh, tuck case, so I'm not gonna go through it. Uh, but you do notice that it does have a gold seal on there, okay, that's your first indicator that they're Richard Turner's. And then also there's a little seal right there that says traditionally cut for the professional. Now, if you'd like to learn more about traditionally cut, uh, you can click the link below in the description and I go all into that. But basically what it means is uh, these cards are cut so that they table faro. Uh, table faroing is done in a lot of gambling routines and that's more so Richard Turner's style. And so if you'd like to learn more about what a traditional cut deck is, I would advise you to just click the link below and uh, I'll give you more information about that. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and the features on this are unique. Uh, the first of which is you're getting B stock. Okay, you're getting casino grade stock. Normally rider backs come in their retail stock, which is much thinner. Having the casino grade cards makes these last longer because they're thicker, they're more durable. Uh, like I said, they are done in a traditional cut as opposed to a modern cut, so that's uh, unique right there as well. So hey, if you're serious about cards, if you're serious about card collecting, if you're serious about flourishing, stop buying these off the shelves and start buying the Richard Turner Gold Standard deck. With this deck, you're gonna get a ad card about Richard Turner. Uh, it lets you know uh, just that these are his cards and that, that way you'll always remember that this is the Richard Turner deck if you keep this in your deck of cards. You're also gonna get a blank card as a gaff, which is always cool for magicians. And with this deck, you're gonna get two full-size jokers. Now, a regular standard deck of 808s comes with a full-size joker and a guaranteed joker, but you don't need the guaranteed joker, and it's nice to have two full-size jokers, especially if you wanna do uh, like sandwich effects where you show, look, I have two identical cards, and then they watch their card mysteriously get trapped between the other two. It's nice to have two cards that are identical so that that illusion is very clear and crisp for your spectator. The rest of this deck is completely standard, both pips and indices, all colors and core cards. So when people always ask me, you know, what deck should I get for magic or what deck should I get for flourishing, I always recommend this one. This is the one you wanna get. All right, so that is my review for the Richard Turner Gold Standard deck. Uh, this deck was provided very generously for us by the good people down at Murphy's Magic. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.